All right, let's talk about composition. Here's one of the things that I like to do when I am composing and I hit a wall. Because a lot of you, when you start to compose, it may be based on a sort of uh, outside influence. Something inspires you to write something. So you start to write out a tune, you start to get into it, and maybe you have one song or you have multiple songs where you're able to do that. The problem usually is after you have this inspiration and it's there and then it goes away, now you start to wonder, what are you, what, what am I supposed to do with my time now when I sit down and compose? Because it feels like it's this writer's block where I just sit down and I try and nothing happens and it's like a blank piece of paper. What I'll tell you is that this idea of like a writer's block, whether you're talking about like actually writing or something with composition, you have to eliminate that. You have to not fall into that trap because there's ways to progress out of that, to get yourself out of that. And it involves setting up these limitations on what it is that you do in order to generate ideas. If you say to yourself that when... I take this time right now to sit down and write. What I'm going to do is work on something very minute, very small. And I'm going to come up with maybe an idea, a phrase, a four note phrase, a melody, whatever you want to term it. You set yourself up to come up with something incredibly small and that's it for the day. And then the next day you add on to that. Then it doesn't seem like it's such a daunting task on yourself in order to do that. And actually, by just sitting down, and no matter what, no matter how much you think it sounds like crap what you wrote down, if you take the initiative to write something out and then build off of that, then you'll start to see results. It might sound like crap the first thing that you write out, but remember that it's not always something that's set in stone, right? It's not. You can change it at any point if you want to. The other thing is, what if you take ideas where you have intervallic concepts that you're using. What if you use intervals of thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, whatever it is, and that is your compositional tool that you're going to use as a basis for how you start off at least writing your melody in the first part. You could turn the whole song into something where it's very similar to that. Or maybe you base your song off of a pentatonic scale. Or maybe a half whole diminished thing, you know, or major tonality, minor tonality. You base it on a certain type of chord quality. You base it on certain movements. Maybe you start thinking, I'm going to start off on a chord and I'm going to move in minor thirds or major thirds. Coltrane, right? What if you set up some sort of a limitation and you act on that. What about the contour of the line? Let's say your melodic line is going to be something where you, you say, I'm going to ascend, but then I'm going to descend, and then that can generate some more ideas as well. Now, you have all these different facets that come into play, and they can be used when you're trying to compose. Because otherwise, like I said, what you run into are these walls and it feels like you can't get anywhere because you just sit there and you wait for a new idea to hit you. And it may be a very long time before that happens. So instead of waiting for an idea, force yourself to generate new ideas. So take a couple of these concepts, try them out. Uh, sometimes people uh, find that they get inspiration from playing a different instrument than they usually do. So if you're a guitar player and maybe you play some on the piano, but you're not that comfortable to call yourself a pianist, then maybe you go ahead and you sit down at the piano and you generate some ideas there, or vice versa. Or maybe you try to hum some things and capture that and transcribe it out. Or you could just listen to a piece of music and try to imitate a little bit of what you're hearing from the song. Again, think about some of those things. Think about the contour of the line. Think about the intervals. Think about the rhythmic component as well. Let's not forget that, right? Because there's a rhythmic component in there that's going to give more interest to your lines. It's one thing to write out a melodic line where you use in a certain interval or you use, you know, a certain type of, you know, scale choice. Those are all great tools and all great things that you can use. But keep in mind that that rhythm is going to generate some excitement in your phrases and your melody. So give some of those things a shot. This is just a little bit of an overview of some of the things that come to my mind when 
I like to generate some ideas for compositions. If you like what you're hearing, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.